Top three things in my notebook this morning. Number one, Russia. Number two, Europe. And number three, the price of oil across uh, both Brent and WTI. If you look at Russia first this morning, you wake up to Putin banning, I guess, food at this point. So you have a lot going on there, but the Russian stock market does not like it. Uh, leading losers in Europe this morning down 17 percent for the year to date. So again, that risk hasn't gone away. There's obviously a lot of risk in the Middle East currently. There's a lot of, a lot of risk everywhere, and I certainly wouldn't be complacent on any of that just on the S&P futures bouncing. Now, the second point would be Europe and all of it. Again, you got to study the bounce, study the bounce. You get a bearish trend breakdown, and again, this is Hedge Eye Risk Management 101. The trend lines break, you drop, and you drop faster on accelerating volume, then you get the bounce. Now, study the bounce. The bounce in Germany this morning is what, 30 basis points? You're going to need to see Germany bounce a lot more than 3% or 10 times that, more than 30 basis points. So again, look at all the trend lines broken. What is Draghi going to say while I'm talking? I have no idea. But no, I don't think that more central planning or more cowbell is going to solve any of Europe's problems. It might be good for a trade in the stock market, mind you, so stay tuned for that. Uh, now, finally, oil prices. Uh, this is probably one of the only good things that are going on. So the oil price continues to break down in the face of everything that I just said that's going on in the Middle East and Russia, et cetera, which is interesting, if not fascinating. So again, you look at it for what it is. It's a consumer tax cut on the margin relative to what we had on the other way up. So again, you had a consumer uh, tax if, as inflation was accelerating from January really to May and June. And then we've seen commodities come off, specifically oil. So again, that's positive on the margin. I'm not saying that that's going to create the next uh, uh, U.S. economic expansion. Don't forget that we are 62 months into a U.S. economic expansion. So the recession doesn't last like a half a trading day, just FYI. Again, that's not the way that the world, uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. Uh, and those are your top three things.